Fairy Stories and welcome to your love reading. We are back, baby. So today we're going to look at a relationship that you're dealing with or you could be dealing with in the near future. We'll figure that out as we go. But keep in mind that the roles could be reversed, okay? This is a channel reading, so take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. Not everything is going to resonate with you. Uh, also pay attention to titles. Maybe there's a reading that it's not like one of your main signs, but the title calls to you. There may be a message for you there, but definitely check out your individual signs if this reading doesn't resonate. If it does, however, don't forget to smash like button for me, do subscribe, have it already. Uh, anything you can do to support the channel, it does really, really, really help, so I would really appreciate it. And for prior reading, the link's going to be down below. So, with that being said, let's pull some shells and get this started. Um, <laughs> what I'm hearing is like lonely but thriving, you know? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm not with anyone. I'm alone. I'm a single Pringle, but I don't mind that. You know, I feel like sometimes you may feel a little bit lonely, but it's not that big of a deal, you know? It's, it's not something that really brings you down and, I don't know, makes you feel like, oh man, I just want someone. You may have those days, but I feel like the second after you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're like, buddy, none of that. Look at that badass. You know, you're really hyping yourself up. And I feel like your feelings may be fluctuating a little bit. Like, oh, I want a relationship, but oh my God, I'm such a badass. I don't need anyone, you know? And I feel like most of it is because of community. I feel like most of it is because of soul family. Maybe you don't have those people around you, maybe you haven't connected with them, you don't feel like you were understood by those people. And so sometimes things can get a little bit lonely. And I feel like that's also the type of relationship that you're asking for. It's someone that gets you, someone that is part of your soul family, someone that is just, it's, it's that person, you know? It's like, I'm single, I'm okay with it, I do want a relationship, I'm open for it, and if that relationship is showing up, then it has to be someone that matches my energy, it has to be someone that is, um, I don't know, part of your my, my soul family, and someone that just understands me, and makes me feel like, yeah, okay, I found my place, you know, and I feel like before, in the past, this could have, probably wasn't the scenario, Maybe in the past you were really struggling with it, especially with this Ten of Wands here in reverse. You were probably struggling with it a lot. You probably, like, when you were feeling lonely, you were feeling lonely. And it was probably the worst, you know? Um, but I feel like that's not you anymore. You could eventually, for some of you, if you have already met this person, you could have started talking through, like, social media, maybe a dating app that's also coming through. Um, and I feel like things are growing slowly, but they are. And... Yeah, I feel like, I mean, I, it feels good, honestly. So I think, I feel like it feels a bit fluctuating between both energies, but it feels good. So let's pull here some, oh my god, uh, what is this? So I just cut the deck and boom, so many, this could be the one. What the bloody hell. Goodness. Well, I, I guess you have your confirmation there. Whoever is coming into your life. Especially because this shell right here also talks about new beginnings. So, yeah, you could be meeting someone. If you already met someone and if you're already talking to someone, well, just a little heads up. You may have to deal with that person for a little longer. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Let's see. Oh, and shows up again. Goodness. This could be the one. True love. <laughs> and release your ex. Yeah. So, release that past energy. I feel like maybe you... Um, it's not that there is someone that you need to release. I feel like it's the idea of love of or what relationships look like. That may be something that you may need to release. There could be something there that, you know, maybe I will find my one true love, but maybe that person won't be part of my soul family. Maybe that person won't get me and I'll always feel alone. I'll always feel like I need something else. That is not true at all, because whoever is coming in, it's like full package deal, okay? That's it. It's it. This could be the one in true love. Boo. 
It's it. Okay? <laughs> so, I feel like there is something, not necessarily about, like, people or something. I feel like it's about limiting beliefs, ideas that you have around love, previous relationships or wounds that I feel like you are already releasing, but there's something else that you also need to release, okay? I feel like that is coming to an end so you can fully step into this. The sun. All that freedom, okay? So, let's see here where we go. Okay. <laughs> what is this reading? What the heck? Fool. Brand new start. This is the start of a new chapter. Going slow, but no more of this. Wish fulfillment, okay? It's, uh, again, social media. You could definitely start with social media here, but it's super duper balanced. And there's a thing. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. Whatever it's blocking this new chapter, um, it, it comes from your mind, okay? It comes from your beliefs of it. From the idea you have of love, okay? But I mean, fool, this is the first card of everything, of your journey, okay? So you're definitely entering a new chapter here. That's awesome. Ten of Wands, yeah. Queen of Cups. We have Temperance, Six of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and Page of Cups. Strong Pisces energy here. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Uh, we also have Sag, but it's on your side. So, uh, yeah, so far we have Pisces. But I definitely feel like you could be mirroring each other a little bit. I feel like this person could be dealing with, uh, I'm hearing family, with the Six of Cups, I was actually going to say that it could be someone from the past, but I'm actually feeling like it's more around childhood. So maybe family, maybe their parents uh, are going through a divorce, went through a divorce, and that affected them on a level that they didn't understand it before. And now I feel like they're starting to gain awareness of it. Okay? It doesn't have to be a divorce or something like that. It just, there's something here. I also feel like there's something around like karmic cycles, especially with this past life relationship energy here um that it's preventing you from getting together right now but ace of pentacles it's happening like i feel like within a month tops by the end of the year but i feel like that's stretching stretching a little bit um but i feel like within a month you could be getting to know this person if you haven't met them already or getting into a relationship commit a relationship with this person okay because you're walking that way they could also be moving houses, moving out or something. Um, and I do feel like it's like a big move. It's not just, oh, let me move out of my parents' house. No, it's like they're moving out of their town, hometown. They're moving out of possibly their country, something like that. So this could be someone um, from a different culture. Okay. And for you, a lot of healing here. Ten of Wands and Temperance. I feel like you're healing your past. That Ten of Wands in reverse. You're letting go of that. Release your ex, right? You're clearing all that energy so you can be open to a new beginning. I feel like you're clearing stuff from physical. You know, you're clearing stuff from people, relationships, that type of stuff. And in reality, the feelings that really need the healing is the internal ones, the mental ones. Okay, for you to find that balance. Because there is something um, on your subconscious mind that you are not aware of. So definitely pay attention to your dreams. Okay, you can ask questions and receive the messages through your dreams. So as you fall asleep, you can ask, for example, what are my blocks around love? What do I need to heal around love? And that dream is going to be a representation of what you need to heal. Okay, so there's definitely something here around your subconscious mind that needs a little bit of healing, okay? But where this is headed, I feel like with this page of cups, it's just the possibilities are endless, you know? I feel like this is everything you've always wanted love to be, but never really believed that it could be. It's, you know, it's your wildest dream and more. And the same thing for them. But I feel like it feels so free it feels liberating, it feels rejuvenating even. I feel like you'll feel special 
you know, that's beautiful. Aw, okay. Let's clarify here a couple of stuff. Let me see that Temperance Ten of Wands on your side. So we have Judgment, Two of Wands, Five of Swords, yeah. So there's that thing of like, you're doing all the right things. You are, you really are. But there is something here. It's like you're wanting to move forward, but then boom, another obstacle. Boom, another thing for you to heal. Because you're healing stuff on the 3D and there's something on the 5D that needs to be healed. Okay, something on your subconscious mind and something that you're resisting to heal. So it probably is pretty painful. It could be like a third party, maybe a cheating situation. Um, maybe some you have like a relationship that was manipulative. Someone used you. And you kind of repress those feelings. I feel like more than what happened... You need to ask yourself, how did I feel when that happened? How do I feel now about that thing that happened? You know, it's a lot about feelings, not so much about tangible stuff, you know? But I feel like with this judgment, it's really like, hey, you're on the right path, okay? You're on the right path. There's just a little twitch. There's just a little thing that you need to look at. But you are on the right path, okay? I feel like the universe really wants you to know that. So that you're doing an amazing job. Just go a little deeper, okay? Let me see that Six of Cups. Ten of Swords, Magician, Death, Ace of Cups. Woof. King of Pentacles. God damn. Well, first of all, this person is a baddie, <laughs> but a good baddie. It's like this person really, um, like, they're stable, they're confident, they are uh, mature, they're financially stable as well, especially financially stable. And I feel like because of it, they are um, able to make that change in their life, you know, lifestyle, um, in terms of house, whatever it is. They're definitely ending a big chapter here. That again, I feel like it's karmic, so it could definitely be around family. Um, and they're manifesting new stuff, new love, you, and they're transforming their life like a hundred percent. So we also have here, um, we have Scorpio, so definitely a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have the magician for me, it's Aquarius, but it's also Gemini, Virgo, okay? But I feel like they have definitely strong water energy. Let me see that Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, Jesus. So, we have Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Tower, Two of Swords. So, I feel like this person is coming in out of the blue, okay? And again, you may not know this person yet. Possibly you follow each other on social media or something, but you don't make a big deal out of it. Um, and it's going to turn out to a big deal out of it, you know? But I feel like you're, again, you're building the foundation for this Ten of Pentacles. You still have this two swords to deal with, but you're building the foundation. So maybe you're already talking to them in a firm way. You know, maybe you're already starting to connect with them, but... It's not evolving in a big way. That's because you're still going through some inner transformation. Okay? So let's see the potential here with a pinch of cups. Four of swords. High priestess. Oh, goodness. King of cups. Page of wands. It's going to be fun. Okay? It's going to also very healing. But also I feel like this is happening because you're both healed. Highly spiritual, so this relationship may be um, a past life relationship, okay? We do have this here. Let's pull it out. Um, but I feel like there will be a lot of love. I feel like, I mean, this could be the one true love. What else do you want? What else do you want? <laughs> I feel like that's it at all. So let's go hear some messages from this person in case you're already connecting with them, you already know them. Anything else? All right. 
So we do have love, you're so hot. Uh, who I want you in my bed talking about passion. I hope one day I can give you what you deserve. I love you and I don't know how to make it up to you. So they could have a little bit of not necessarily a player vibe, but I feel like right now, especially that page of swords, maybe like the way they see you, it's not a hundred percent. Oh, this is going to be the love of my life. Spoiler alert, it will be, but they just like, they are attracted. They're attracted. And for them, that's all they know. They're attracted. And I feel like with this, I love you. It's um, like they are open to the idea of love. And I really feel like they love love. So if they eventually come up has a player kind of vibe, they're not. They're just like really attracted to you. Okay. And um, honestly, I kind of feel like not right now. But especially if this is someone from like childhood or something, uh, or someone you've been following for some time, I kind of feel like they have already fantasized uh, about a future with you at some point. Okay? Yeah. So let's we'll hear some messages and advice from the universe. Let's see what we have. Let's see. Oh, I can't. Talking about dreams. What are your dreams telling you? So definitely pay attention to them. Ask questions um, for the universe to answer through your dreams. Your wishes are coming true. Oh, what did I tell you? Someone here could be moving out. I kind of feel like your person could be moving out here. We also have learned the lessons. So that is definitely a message for you about that thing that we were talking about, okay? Your inner home, learn the lessons in terms of feelings. You also have, you can do it and keep an open mind. This is gonna happen. This is a dream come true. This could be the one. True love, okay? Past life relationship, intense AF, but good AF, okay? It's gonna be good. Ugh, Jesus. So. Aries Stewards, this is what I have for you. I'm super excited. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're interested in a prayer reading, the link is going to be down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.